Hello, my friends, and welcome to another exciting edition of Well, today is a cold one out there. Lots of snow, lots of cold here in Edmonton. So what better way to cozy up, get ready for the coming holiday season than with a few Black Friday boxes that we picked up of 2122 Upper Deck SPX Hockey. Now each box features four cards, two of which are an autograph or a memorabilia, plus other potential surprises in there as well. Um, Black Friday deals, of course, can't say no to them. These boxes are normally about $150 Canadian, which is a lot for, for what you're getting. On a Black Friday, we got each of these for 75 Canadian a pop. So the gamble is much safer. If you don't get great hits, it doesn't sting quite as much. Before we begin our break today, however, don't forget to like the video, share it if you feel like it, and of course, subscribe to our channel if you feel like it. I know you'll all have a great time. And you're always welcome in our box break videos here. And also, if you feel like answering a question in the comments down below, I got an interesting question for you here today. So there's a lot of sports card products out there in the world today, and you know not all of them are great. They're hit or miss, especially at the price point they come out with. They can be insane. But I want to ask you, specifically you, that's right, you're the one watching the video right now, uh, what product is a surefire once it is on sale, so say it's marked down 30%, 50%, even 10%, what is a product which you have to have when it's on sale? Throw in the comments down below, and who knows, you may end up in a common shout out portion of a future video. But you know what I'm about to say? You know it, you love it, you expect it after all these years of box breaking? And say it with me, my friends. Oh, let's get ready for box breaking. All right, my friends, so let's see what we can pull in four boxes of this product. There's only gonna be 16 cards, it's gonna fly by pretty quick, but it's a hit-centric product, so there's a lot less filler in terms of base cards. So, are we excited? Because I sure am. All right, we'll start with uh, this box on the side here. So of course, as mentioned, yeah, there's only four packs in a box. All right, first up we have we have a William Eklund, Obsidian Rookies, um, numbered 65 of 99. Not, don't think it's scratched, I think it's just a little bit of dust on it from the decoy it was with, but hey, that's a pretty nice and shiny card. Eklund's not a bad player on a struggling uh, Sharks team, but of course they're in a rebuild. They'll be back to form, I'm sure, within a few years, but that's pretty cool, okay. We have, we have a Jacob Bryson, Obsidian Scripts Rookie Autograph, numbered out of 65. I like it because of that very nice vibrant gold on it. A little spottiness on there, but that's fine. It's a very cool looking card. Next up is a Gabe Velarde Autograph. Look how damaged it is. I do not like that at all. That is bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice autograph, but yeah, this isn't good. And unfortunately, with Upper Deck being a 2122 product, there is no customer service available on it. So we are stuck with a heavily damaged Gabe Velarde autograph. So normally it would have been okay this way. I don't like damaged stuff, as nobody does. Yeah, pretty bad. A shadow box of Dylan Cousins. Not numbered. These used to be really cool hits, really sought after in the early SPX days, especially when they had autograph versions and stuff. But hey, still a nice card. A little bit of, doesn't look like scratching, just looks like some residue on it. So yeah, but okay, that's box number one. Not the best, but let's move on to number two. Okay, and quick flip. We have a Morgan Baron. Black Lustrous Rookie Autograph, number 24 of 25. Nice scarce, I really do love these black cards, just the gold autographs really pop on them. And a one, and a two, and a... We have a rookie jersey card of Uko Pekka Lukanen. So, cool little jersey swatch. 
Just a plain jersey though, but hey, good goalie, number one for the uh, Buffalo Sabres. Okay, we have a Alex Newhook, Radiance FX Rookies. Alex Newhook, a little bit of an acetate on it, not numbered, pretty cool looking card. I always appreciate a good design. One, two, we have an Radiance FX of Brock Besser, numbered out of 150. Brock Besser, Radiance FX, numbered I think, uh, 80, 81. So we got two Radiance FX cards. This one is an okay break. The other one I enjoyed more with the exception of the damaged card. All right, moving on. All right, and boom. We have a rookie superscripts of Robin Sallow. That's a not a very good one, unfortunately. Nice looking card, very cool design, but yeah, not a not a particularly sought after one. Also not a big Islanders fan personally, but hey, it looks good. Quick reveal, one, two. Okay, we have a rookie patch of Grigory Denisenko, number out of 35. So unfortunately, he wasn't a part of that Panthers team that won the cup um, last season there. Still, nice little patch. And one, two, three. Okay, we have a Wyatt Kalanuk, SPX Finite Rookies Green, numbered out of 199. Out of 199. Again, I like the designs. One, two, Pew. is a Radiance FX of Ryan O'Reilly, just regular, not numbered. So Ryan O'Reilly, Radiance FX. Okie dokie, and on to our final box. Okay, and a quick flip. Pew. We have a winning combos dual jersey card of Jeff Petrie and Josh Anderson. I remember these winning combos cards go back quite a ways uh, in SPX history. They're kind of plain looking, you know there's just a perfect spot for autographs, but unfortunately this was not the case today. So two Montreal jersey cards, okay. All right, quick flip, one, two. We have a Parker Kelly rookie jersey autograph, uh, numbered out of 375. That's uh, not the greatest one, Parker Kelly. Still a good looking design, I kind of like this. And we have, oh, two hits in a box. Okie dokie, this was a double hit pack, sorry. So we have a Jeremy Swayman, a rookie jersey, and we have a Jan Yenick, uh SPX Finite Rookies Gold out of 299. So we ended up with two hits in a single pack. I'll take it, Swayman was good. A Jake Lecision, um, rookie auto jersey, number 375. So this final box, we actually got more than expected hits. We didn't get a single uh, regular, regular base hit in it. We just got memorabilia, autographs, or numbered cards. So this one is better than the last few. Not a superb card, but hey. All right, so we'll do a quick recap of the hits. All right, my friends, so here's a quick recap of all the hits we got in the breaks, just in case you didn't have time to watch the whole video, so you'll still see the content we got in here. So starting out, we ended up with uh, Radiance FX Rookie of Alex Newhook, Radiance FX of Ryan O'Reilly, Radiance FX Spectrum out of 150 of Brock Besser, or Red, I don't know what the parallel is, got a Dylan Cousins Shadow Box, we ended up with A, Jan Dienek Gold SPX Finite Rookies out of 299, and we ended up with A, Wyatt Kalanuk, SPX Finite Rookies Green out of 199. We ended up with an Obsidian Rookies Gold, I believe, out of 99. Uh, William Eklund. We got a winning combos, dual jersey card of Jeff Petrie and Josh Anderson. We ended up with a rookie jersey of Ukopeka Lukanen. We ended up with a rookie jersey of Jeremy Swayman. We ended up with a rookie patch of Grigory Denisenko. We continued on with a Robin Sallow Rookie Superscripts card. Not 
greatest. We ended up with a cool but damaged card, unfortunately, and there's no customer service available on products from 2122 of Gabe Velarde. So cool, but not so cool in the end. We got a Parker Kelly rookie jersey auto out of 375. We got a Jake LeCision uh, rookie jersey auto out of 375. We got a Morgan Barron Black Lustrous Rookies Auto out of 25. Love that gold. And we ended up with a Jacob Bryson out of 65. Black Obsidian Scripts uh, Rookies. So there you go, my friends. This was four boxes of the product. Of course, it was heavily discounted, 50% off. Each box was 75 Canadian. So that doesn't sting quite as much. My thoughts on this, again, um, at a discounted rate, it's, it's not that bad. If you're paying 150 a box, Ouch, unless you get to McDavid or one of the top rookies. So always buy with caution, but hey, if you're looking for a fun time, if you're just collecting for the sake of it, that's a good safe price to buy that. Plus the ceiling is really high. Um, of course, if you end up with damage stuff, redemptions, I don't know if they're still active after this time. So those are kind of the little cautions I'll throw with it. But hey, you know, I haven't broken like anything hockey in a while, so I'm happy to come back with a video for all of you today. I know that I had fun, and I hope all of you enjoyed watching this quick box break video with me here at Heroes of the Crease, Golden Museum and Memorabilia Limited. Till next time, my friends, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Stay safe, stay warm, look after each other, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, my friends.